of rajas egoistically driven could we say there is a a material gain or something selfish he sees there something in it for himself power there is that proprietorship that ownership or he is able to achieve something sorry to rule yeah obviously so there is that attitude of acquiring something but he knows he needs to work unlike the tamasic fellow tamasic fellow wants to enjoy they are the consumers they are not the producers so my forefathers have earned something and kept for me i will sit and enjoy that's the reason they say uh, 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 wealth doesn't last more than three generations the forefathers or your and your great grandfather has a grandfather has earned this present generation is trying to maintain by the time it comes to his generation is gone because they don't they are not the it's a, isn't it a very age old saying that wealth doesn't last more than three generations so the fourth generation they have to actually start from almost from scratch i'm not saying again it's a thumb rule but it's a it's a saying there are exceptions to this rule it can't be say a rule but it's a a, a a belief system so when someone is driven to action with a with an attitude to acquire something with a and he doesn't mind bending the rules to get what he wants he doesn't mind he he compromises he he can lead himself to unethical unscrupulous uncompromising attitude just to get what he wants he is a go getter in his own in his own way but not the right path very very manipulative and what drives him is a a selfish motive is i all i and my and there is no ethics or morality there are no value systems you will find the corporate world is rampant with this culture is like sharks i can eat you up any time just for my survival so he is so called very dynamic unlike a tamasic fellow lazy the way he carries himself is there's no energy even the way they walk they'll drag their feet around and lift their feet come on you see this army guys training the way they lift their legs and their energy the way they walk around is an energy Otherwise, they walk as if they're doing a favor to you. <laughs> Yo, pa. You know the first principle of Vedanta, the first principle of philosophy, the first principle of the scriptures is what? The answer was what Vivekananda told people who went up to learn Vedanta from him. students went up to vivekananda and said please teach us vedanta you know what he said say so go play football first and then come back huh what you want us to play football we have come with scriptural text we got the text we want you to clarify some get through some wisdom at us and you say go play football nobody understood him you know why 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 would he say go play football outstanding they have no a brilliant this you know ma why would he say go play football don't say because he was from calcutta <laughs> mohan bagan maybe <laughs> why why would he say go play football they were tamasic they are not adhikaris of the knowledge so to shed your tamas and become rajas in fact knowledge is given to a satvik person and this fellow is a tamasic people 
So how to come from tamas to sattva? You can't bypass rajas. So they said, first come to rajas, then I'll give you direction to your action. To be inactive, how can I talk to you? You are an ICU cases. How can I give philosophy to you? To give knowledge at the deathbed, what Vedanta is useful for you fellows, tamasic life, people read Gita after retirement. These values have to be injected right when you are in the smack of your life or the best is to prepare you much before you enter the arena of life. Man, you are, you have everything to handle what life is. You have that clear clarity. You have the rich value systems. You are able to manage yourself and steer not yourself. You become a, a beacon of light for others to follow. Wherever you are, whatever role you play, you become a, a standard. Including arranging the slippers got to be thinking becomes clear. The second row has not the same spacing as this side. It has been bothering me all the time. I have to be get over that little OCD. I need to control that. So, a person when he becomes rajasic by nature, when he becomes that possessive, aggressive, when he's in that mode of acquisition and enjoyment, I got all what I want and acquire, I want to enjoy all what I have acquired, it's all mine. That possessive attitude, that greed which drives the corporate industry or any businessman by nature. What are the consequences of that life? Inevitable, there is that agitation. There is that stress. There is that price you pay for. Price you pay for? The wrong attitude to work. Not the work. It is the wrong attitude you carry to work. You want to procure something at anybody's cost. That is the wrong attitude. That kills, that destroys. Huge organizations are collapsed. Countries are suffering because of the attitude of the leaders. So it could be an individual, it could be a nation. If it doesn't have this value system, it's gone. So Rajas can, can be said who is constantly driven by desires, selfish desires. I have this, I don't have that. I've enjoyed this, I'm yet to enjoy that. This is the attitude. It's all that drives it. All is